Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here again, and it is time to show you a new album that a lot of you may not be familiar with because it's a smaller second album by band, uh, a smaller unknown band, but I'm telling you right now, you need to check this out. If you're into metal, if you're into metal that's on a little bit of the thrashier side, that's not too extreme, but right in that sweet po pocket sound for me of, of, you know, fairly clean vocals, but just killer tunes, killer riffage. You want to check this band out. This is their sophomore album, and it's just, in my opinion, <laughs> leaps of bounds beyond their first album, which was good in itself. This is going to be ranked up there as one of my favorite albums so far. I mean, we're in July, and already I would say this is probably my favorite metal album of the year. And uh, yeah, it's it's a tough one. There's a couple great albums that came out this year, and this is definitely one of them. We're talking about a band called Motivic. You know, I hope that's how you pronounce it. You know, I'm just guessing that. I didn't even think about that. Anyway, <laughs> Renouncement, their latest album. They are a, it's really just two guys. Same two guys from the first album. They have a couple, uh, they have a couple guest singers like they did on the first album. The first album, here, let me show you this. Let's go back real quick. 2021's uh, first album, The Death of a Gunman, didn't really know who the guys were. I think the big draw for them was, you know, they released a video, but the big draw that got at least my attention for sure, me, you know, immediately, was the fact that they had Robert Wolf on a one of the tracks. Uh, Robert Wolf is the early singer, he's the second singer, I guess, from Sacrament back in the day. Loved Sacrament. And he appears on here and they do a sacrament cover and he sings it. So that got the attention of, you know, who is this new band that's on the, her, you know, on the scene here. Um, two guys and then they got Robert in there. So that drew my attention to it. I ended up really liking the album. The album was great. Uh, I do have it on cassette. I mean on cassette. <laughs> Vinyl and CD. And uh, so yeah, this was back in 2021. And then, you know, things go a little silent. It actually came out on CD first and then later on vinyl, but that was that was cool. And then again, uh, later, a couple years later, they come out now with this one, which just dropped like in the past couple weeks. So everything about this album, in my opinion, there's so much about this album is like I say, leaps and bounds above the first time. The production, the songwriting, uh, the heaviness, the just the, the overall, thickness of the songs and so this just immediately and and the vocals so it's the same two guys you got courtney simmons on vocals and you got ryan roebuck on guitar and playing everything else and you got a drummer setting in um they do have a, a, some other guest singers on here the most notable is chris ackerman um former singer from betrayal he was with martyr for a while before Be martyr became betrayal and he does an actual betrayal song on here so again, sort of similar to the first album that brought in a, you know, a classic singer from the late 80s, early 90s metal movement to do a song by his band back in the day. And that it's just, it's killer. It's just a, such a killer reproduction. But overall, everything about this is just, to me, it sounds beefier. It sounds more full. The songs are just a little bit on the edge of your side. And anyway, if you like metal that is not too extreme, not screamy the vocals are very you know they're they're very uh palatable you know if you're into that then uh you know this is you're gonna want to check this out it is some absolute great stuff and it is this one did it come out on vinyl and cd see them i bought it direct from the band so they are signed by the two guys as is the vinyl um the vinyl this time around is on a beautiful splatter pumpkin-y looking orange and black uh yeah so if you're not familiar with this band just go check it out videos youtube things like that uh go to rocks records definitely want to get this it's, it is a rocks 100 series vinyl which means technically there should only be 100 of these on vinyl um don't know if that is exactly the case i can't remember cds i'm sure there's plenty of those another thing they did release in conjunction with this which was kind of a package deal was uh they put out the this is actually the unorthodox years it is uh back when the when these guys were younger 
what does it say? They're like 15 or something. And they recorded some songs. These are some songs back in the 90s. It's a five song little. They were doing this digitally and Rock decided to make some of these on CD to give, get out with package deals with the album. So this is kind of cool. And again, they signed that for me. So early demos of the guys when they were younger. But um, that went along with the package deal for this. And again, you're going to want to check this out. It is just, if you, if you just like that killer metal sound which i do great stuff check out the band if you're in the metal you're gonna love this stuff it is absolutely a phenomenal album in my opinion again it's ranking up there uh it's gonna be hard to uh dethrone this band from my mind right now as being one of the absolute top bands so far of 2024 so anyway check it out thanks a lot for watching i'll see you later rock on and rock hard